Retrospect includes an option called Block Level Incremental Backup. This feature allows Retrospect to backup only the changed parts of a file each time you run a backup operation. The default action for Retrospect is to backup the entire file every time it changes. So the very first time you do a backup of a computer, it copies every file from the machine. The second time you do a backup, it copies the files that are new or changed since the previous backup. And using the default settings, every time a file changes, the entire file gets copied. So as an example, if you have a PST file or some other large database file, every time that file changes, that causes Retrospect to backup the entire file every time, taking up a lot of space on your backup media. If you turn on the option called Block Level Incremental Backup, then what Retrospect will do is only copy the changed blocks within a file, saving you a large amount of space during your backup operations. You can see an example of what this might look like after a backup by going into Activities and going to History or Past. In this particular case, I have a backup that I did previously. And if I look at the log, it shows that I copied four files for 3.3 gigabytes with 68% compression. The next time I backed up that exact same disk, Retrospect only needed to copy two files for 641 kilobytes because two of the files didn't change, but the files that did change, Retrospect only needed to back up the specific blocks within the file that were modified. The entire file didn't need to get backed up every single time. This saves you quite a lot of space in your backup media. Now, you have the ability to uh, configure Retrospect a little bit to determine what you want to include in your block level incremental backup. So if you go to Preferences and you go to Rules, you're going to have a filter called Block Level Filter. And if you edit this filter, you'll see that by default, the Block Level Incremental Backup option is on for any file that's 100 megabytes or larger. Typically, if a file is smaller than 100 megabytes, then you lose a lot of the value from doing a Block Level Incremental Backup. But if you have a need to back up really large files, let's say a 500 megabyte file, and you only want Retrospect to back up the changed blocks within that file, then you could modify this to, let's say, 500 megabytes. Then any file that's under 500 megabytes will get a traditional backup where the entire file gets copied every time. But any file over 500 megabytes is just going to be the, doing the changed blocks. You can also add specific file types to the bottom of this filter for files that you know uh, change in their entirety every time. So in this, in this particular default filter, we have specific file types that we know change almost in their entirety with each modification. So you lose a lot of value from block incremental backup. So this will exclude those. The file will still get backed up and every time the file changes, but we won't attempt to do a block level incremental backup on the files in this list. This particular rule or filter is only used by Retrospect in the background. You don't use it when you configure your scripts. So when you look on your side your script and you go to rules, you want to typically use your own custom rule. You will not select the block level filter for your backup script. Now, if you have media sets that you've been using with prior versions of Retrospect, those media sets will be converted into a block level incremental backup media set once you turn that option on. So if you need to do block level incremental backup, then those media sets will not be usable in older versions of Retrospect. So if you have a need to use your media sets with older versions of Retrospect, then you do not want to turn this option on. But if you're only going to be using the current version of Retrospect, then you can turn block level incremental backup on and you don't need to worry about the backwards compatibility.